Welcome to Built on Faith Homestead or Leaving Egypt, depending on which video platform you are watching this on. My name is Justin. I live with my wife, Melissa, and we have three kids, and uh, we live in a tiny house. Uh, we just do the best we can to live a self-sustainable life and uh, serve the Lord to the best of our ability, and we have a lot of work to do on both of those avenues. Today, I'm going to talk about the UN and an app they want you to load on your phone to track your carbon footprint because you are two-thirds of the carbon emission problem according to the UN. And I'm also going to talk about spiritual warfare. I'm going to talk about the video I did yesterday about hard times and go from there. I once was lost, oh, but now I am found, was blind, but now I see. All right, so the UN, first and foremost. Let's talk about it. Um, the UN, uh, if you just go and surf their website, which I like to do from time to time because they admit all kinds of crazy stuff, and then I put it on YouTube. And so here we are, tinfoil hat, crazy heel Billy, talking about the... Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about the carbon tracker on your phone. So here it is, right? Let me show you what they're talking about. Start with 10 impactful actions. Our lifestyle have a profound impact on our planet. Our choices matter. Around two thirds of global greenhouse gas emissions are linked to private households. As you can see here in the rest of this article, uh, this is going to give you 10 things you can do to help make things better. As far as your carbon footprint goes, you personally, according to the UN, this is on the UN's website, and I will copy the link down below in the description box. Here are the first four things the UN says you can do to help out. Save energy at home, walk, bike, or take public transport, eat more vegetables, and consider your traveling. The last six things they say is to throw away less food, reduce, reuse, repair, and recycle, change your home source of energy, switch to an electric vehicle, make your money count, and speak up. I assume the speak up is trying to get people to live according to the UN standards. According to the UN, you are two thirds of the problem. And so they want you to put a carbon tracker on your phone because you can help the world. You can help save the world by having this carbon tracker on your phone and it can keep track of your carbon score, if you will, right? Make sure that you are being a good worldwide global citizen by doing all of the green initiatives that they think is a good thing. Now, here's the deal. I am not against doing things um, in a green, if you will, type way, right? I'm all about, man, if you can do solar power, wind power, if you can get off of the grid, all that kind of stuff, that's great. But I would promote it for independence, not for connection back to the slavery uh, is how I would promote it. But anyhow, um, my question to you is, do you have enough forethought to look ahead and say, you know what, this is voluntary now. But could they or would they make it mandatory? You see, uh, UN Agenda 2030, we are far behind, according to them, and we have to take aggressive steps. One world leader even said it is a needs to be a war-like footing, right? We need to use war-like tactics, and I will show you that clip. Here is the then Prince Charles and now King Charles stating in order to combat climate change, we need to take a warlike footing, uh, making sure that the public and uh, private sectors are working together uh, to combat climate change. Once again, a warlike footing. And so that being the case, do you think this is going to stay voluntary? Or do you think it's going to be used to track every little thing that you do, apply it to your social credit score just to lock you down and freeze you up? in this crazy world that we live in, even more so than it already is. It's already hard enough, right, to try to get ahead. Always something, always something coming up, always something happening, always a new tax, whatever, that's holding you down, right? Now, we're talking about trackers on your phone. The interesting part about this is, remember that at the WEF, these tech CEOs were telling us that the technology of our cell phone will no longer be a phone necessarily, but the tech will be inside of you. So, there's going to be a carbon tracker potentially inside of you. 
That sounds good, doesn't it? That sounds like a good time. That sounds like something a lot of fun. And you say, Justin, this is crazy. It's all voluntary. It is voluntary now. But if you've ever worked in a place of business for very long, what you will find is management will come to you and say, oh, this is a voluntary thing. We want to just try it out, see how it works out. Somewhere around 60 to 70% of the corporation takes hold of it, likes it, and then they make it mandatory for everybody. You say, oh, that's crazy. They ain't going to do that. Really? What happened with the masks? Well, the government didn't make it mandatory. No, they didn't. Corporations did. What about the doohickey? Well, the government's right. They didn't make it mandatory. Well, corporations did. So, my question to you is, do you have enough foresight to go, you know what? Maybe this isn't a good thing, and maybe this is something. See, one of the initiatives they put down there was to speak out. Speak out about this stuff. Well, I'm going to speak out against it. Listen, I'm all for green stuff, right? I'm all for not wasting things. I am all for recycling things, right? Uh, you find uh, some backwooded uh, hillbilly just trying to live an independent life, they are probably about the greenest individual you will ever meet. They try to grow their own food. They try to use fertilizer from their animals to grow their own food. They try to stay away from the craziness that is this world to the, mu to the uh, most ability that they possibly can. I get that, but I would say that we need to do that to promote freedom, not to be attached back to the UN and have a nice tracker on our phone to keep up with our social credit score that is sure to come. So, what's the other thing I want to talk about? Spiritual warfare, right? <laughs> So you guys seen my video maybe yesterday, some of you did, if you hadn't, go check it out, right? And I just talked about God being faithful in hard times, right? Sometimes in this life, everything just unravels. And I just talked about the stuff that has happened to us, right? We had a sewer line plug up, we had our refrigerator go out, our hot water heater's going out. Um, which, by the way, get ready to see that video one of these days soon uh, about hot water heaters um, and what not to put in your house. And... Um, uh, hot water heater, predator issues, those kinds of things, right? Well, this morning, whenever I got up and got done milking and all that kind of stuff, um, I got a nice text message on my phone saying that my card had been hacked, my debit card, and so they shut down my debit card, uh, which, I mean, no harm, no foul, right? Uh, I'm not going to lose any money over the deal. I just got to go and get a new debit card. Um, and then... Uh, I come out here to cut wood. In this whole video, I was going to be cutting wood and talking about the UN. And it was going to be a really cool video. So I was pretty excited about it. Um, but let me show you why we are not cutting wood in this video. See this little doohickey here? It's supposed to look more like that one. But this one just fell apart in my hand. The plastic just come apart. Now, I've had this saw a long time. So uh, I'm not too mad about the deal other than now i have to go to town and get a new part because there's no way to lock this down where it'll seal up where fuel won't just dribble out of the tank now you may be thinking to yourself justin this has nothing to do with any sort of spiritual warfare or any of that kind of stuff this is just is what it is right uh and we do all have these times in life where everything just starts to fall apart but here's the deal the times in our life where physical things, especially like this, start happening is typically when we are either like the church is growing uh, or uh, I've been asked to do a or help with a revival effort. Um, or um, one of our YouTube videos where I talk about the Lord gains a little bit of traction. And uh, it seems as if pretty much all of those things has happened over the last few months. Um, I wouldn't say that the church has really been growing as of lately, uh, but uh, <laughs> I have been asked to come help with a revival effort, which I'm very excited for. And uh, some of our YouTube videos talking about the Lord, uh, most of all, uh, and exposing the world that we live in, uh, have been gaining traction. And so here we are in the fight right now i obviously promote looking inward first to make sure this is not chastisement because sometimes these things have happened to me because i've been out of line with the lord um and that happens it just does I'm, I'm being honest with you right sometimes i get out of sorts with the lord and uh i get a little chastisement and i have to learn to do better uh, and i don't despise the chastising of the lord it's not fun when you're in it but you know that the lord loves you the bible says that when he chastises you you know that he loves you just like a loving parent corrects their child in other times, this stuff happens because you're serving the Lord. One of my favorite stories in Scripture is when the disciples get on the boat. Jesus told them to go down there, get on the boat, sail across the sea. And they did exactly what Jesus told them to do. Exactly. They got on the boat and they sailed across the sea. You want to know what happened? A big storm come up. A great big one. 
right? And they were terrified. Absolutely terrified. They did exactly what Jesus told them to do, and the storm still come. Sometimes, serving the Lord, you're doing exactly what the Lord wants you to do, and the storms still come. This kind of stuff um, still gets to me. Uh, don't get to me like it used to. Ten years ago, I'd have thrown this saw down this hill, right? I'd have been mad. Uh, I'd have chucked it down the hill and went and bought a whole new saw because the gas tank thing messed up. Now, hopefully, I don't have to buy a whole new saw. Hopefully, they sell the part uptown. If they don't, I'll I'll search online for it. Um, so uh, I used to say my I, I would say it this way: my temper used to be real bad. Now it's just bad. Right? It's getting better all the time. This red beard is a warning label. Right? <laughs> Caution. <sighs> can blow his lid from time to time so uh once again it's hard to write this all off as coincidence when it happens this way over and over and over and over again but person just needs to dig in keep fighting keep doing what it is the lord has called you to do don't worry about the rest of it seek first the kingdom of god the rest of it will shake out now it is beginning to sleet and freeze and rain just a little bit be a great time to hit the roads <laughs> And go to town uh, but i need to because i have to cut some firewood and so i guess i better get off of here and get to work we appreciate you guys watching we'll catch you on the next video